It's Thursday night and we got a lot of great stuff to talk about tonight. There are a few hat tricks, a few shout outs, and a stellar debut by David Booth. Enjoy your Dell KHL update. Our first game of the night is in Toljari, where a lot of face SKA St. Petersburg with all their superstars. After through the opening frame, dying seconds of Lada's power play, Alexander Strelzev gets on a breakaway, stone cold by Mika Koskinen. Great scoring opportunity wasted. Just a few moments later, Koskinen saves the day for SKA once again. Stanislav Pucherov beats Tobias Spiklin for a sure goal, but Koskinen shuts the door. You're gonna see this save again on our top 10 save of the week chart, I can tell you that. And if you're not gonna score, you're gonna get scored on. And here's some evidence of that by SKA. Ila Kalachuk feeds Alexander Katekin and he finds the back of the net for the first time this season. Katekin will speak by the Detroit Red Wings at the 2014 NHL entry draft. A few minutes later, Lada with another man advantage and this time they convert. Mitri Vorobyov takes a shot from the point, it goes wide, rebound off the end boards, chaos in front of the net, the puck slides to Vorobyov again and this time he sends it in. That's his fifth of the season and it's a 1-1 hockey game. Moving on to the second period, Ilya Kolchak makes a careless play in the neutral zone, cuffs up the puck, Vasilis Trotsov gets on his jet, storms down the ice, shields it and stops it in. Trotsov with a power rush to put Lada in the lead. Home team keep their one goal lead up till the final minutes of regulation, but they cannot hold on to it. Former Toronto Maple Leaf Joachim Lindstrom ties it up with a power play marker. Lindstrom gets his sixth of the season and would tie it twos now. SKA have a chance to finish the job in regulation as Nikita Gusev springs up for a 2 and one rush with Evgeny Dodonov and Dodonov misses the net of this one-timer. Lada just got really lucky there. It doesn't take SKA long to win it in the extra frame though. Just 16 seconds in, Ilya Kolchak sets up Maxim Chikinov for a blast. Masalski stops it, but Mitri Kalina bears the rebound. SKA have a strong finish and as a result they go from trailing 2-1 to winning it 3-2 in overtime as Ilya Kolchak and Maxim Chikinov register two points each. Helsinki, Finland is the site of our next game, Jokirit House Sochi. Early in the first, Jokirit on the rush, Jesse Jonsson makes a backhand pass to Brandon Kozen, cross has passed better again, and he does not put it in. Renat Pamasha puts his stick on the puck and it sails over the net. No worries, Jokirit's dynamic duo get their points a little later. Brandon Kozen goes for a shot, misses the net, but better again there is the rebound off the end boards. Kozen picks up his 23rd assist and 35th point in his 33rd KHL game. Jokir keeps the pressure on the second period, making Kostin Barulin stand on his head and go post ring, and they finally double their lead at 26-23. Yari Salonen scores his third of the season on a rebound, and it's 2-0 Jokir. But that's when Sochi turned the table. Just 25 seconds later, Ilya Pukunov sets up Renat Pomasha for a point shot. He goes for it, it's stiffed in front, and it's in the back of the net. Andre Kostitsin is credited with the goal. It's 2-1 now. A few minutes later, Jokiri swapped Henry Carlson for Rico Hilenios. That appears that Carlson got a micro injury. And Hilenios gets scored on just a few moments later. Vadim Shigolnikov beats Yanya Rita and Philippe Larson to the puck, takes a shot, Hilenios gives up a rebound, and Denis Kizionov sends it in. 21-year-old Shigolnikov picks up his first career KHL point and we're tied at twos now. Less than four minutes later, Ilya Kukunov steals the puck behind the net on the forecheck, throws it in the crease, Ben Maxwell can get a shot away, but Renat Mamashev can. He nets his third of the season and Sochi now lead 3-2. Third period, Sochi on a power play, Ziyad Pagin dishes the puck over to Andrei Kostitsin and he snipes it for his second of the night and eighth of the season. Kostitsin is right in a four-game point streak, he scored five goals and six points over the stretch. Three minutes later, they put a cherry on top as Andre Patterson sets the final score at 5-2 with his 10th of the season. So she win their second consecutive game and their fourth out of the last six. Next on the menu, Akbar and Spartak Moscow. Akbar is missing Fedor Malikin tonight due to an injury. He had four goals, six points and two shootout winners in the past six games for them. Just 33 seconds into the game, Spartak opened up the scoring. Lukas Radl gets the puck in the slot and he beats Emil Garipa for his sixth of the season. Later in the period, former Colorado Avalanche defenseman Ryan Wilson and Victor Baldayev drop the gloves and they're gonna duke it out. 
They both light a few good punches, but Valdev appears to run out of gas pretty soon, and Wilson gives him a couple of extras for the road. Moving on to the second period, and how about this solo dash by Dmitry Abukhov? Abukhov scores in his second consecutive game, and this is the one he's going to remember for a long time. 1-1. One, one. Shortly after that, Akbar's on a power play. Yakov Rilov to Mikhail Varnikov. One touch pass to Mikhail Luka up to the far post, and Justin has a better pot set. They had to review the play, but this tic-tac-toe beauty is gonna count. 2-1 Akbars. Four minutes later, they strike again. Another amazing passing play, and Vladimir Kachov is there to finish it off. Keep this youngster in mind, he's not done yet tonight. Third period now, Akbar set up camp in Spartak's hand. Albert Yurulin takes a hard shot from the blue line, and Mikhail Vornikov steers it into the net. It's 4-1 Akbar's now. Two minutes later, Vladimir Kachov sees some opening in the slot, he skates there and stuffs it in for his second of the night. That's his first career multi-goal game, and it comes too easy, Spartak has fallen apart. When it rains it pours, with just 33 seconds left on the clock, Vladimir Kachov completes his first career KHL hat-trick with a nice tap down low. Rough to Yakov Rulov for this amazing slap pass too. Spartak out shoot Akbar's 40-26, but they suffer a blowout loss on the road. 6-1 is your final. We are now in Cherpovets where Severstal lays him up against Admiral. And David Booth is making his KHL debut on this one. And he gets to work early. First shift of the night. Watch out! David Booth levels Nikolai Stasenko. Gotta keep your head up. We got a new sheriff in town. Moments after that, two Admiral defensemen got in an odd man rush. Oscar Bertillus takes the shot and the puck trickles into the net. one nothing Admiral. Three minutes later, it goes the other way. Yevgeny Mons carries the puck on a two-on-one rush, beats Mitchu Kogorlitsky, and it beats Igor Babkov. Textbook execution, 1-1. One, one. A few minutes later, they create the same scoring chance, except that this time it's Yevgeny Mons who takes the shot, and Babkov makes the save. Second period now, David Booth and Alexey Ugarov put a few passes together. Booth tries to bank it in from the slot. That doesn't work, but Igor Dugin finishes the job as he nets his second of the year. David Booth is credited with his first career KHL point on this play, and it's 2-1 Admiral. Six minutes later, Severstal have a three-on-one rush. Dmitry Kogorlitsky feeds Pavel Pochnevich for a breakaway, and he scores! New York Rangers prospect ties the game up at twos. It gets better, three minutes after that, David Booth, again, he's carrying the puck down the left wing, centers it for Igor Dugan, and he sends it in to put Admiral in the lead once again, it's 3-2. Shortly after that, Admiral get a power play, scramble for the puck in front of the net, Booth gives the play alive, feeds Igor Dugan, and there it is! Dugan completes his first career KHL hat-trick, while David Booth racks up three points in his first 13 shifts in the new league. How's that for a debut night? Admiral shoot themselves in the foot though, a few minutes later they down two men and Pavel Buchnevich makes them pay. He drives it hard into the net from the hash marks and enjoys his second goal of the night with just a split second left in the second period. Halfway through the third now, Yuri Trubachov sets up Andrei Nemec for an open ice shot and he beats Igor Babkov's stick side. This one is going to be shootout after all. And there is only one man who scores there. His name? David Booth. He scores on his second attempt in the fourth round and wins the extra point for Admiral. Three assists, a hit, and the shootout winner. Welcome to the KHL, Mr. Booth. Happy to have you. Head over to magnificent and beautiful Riga, Latvia, where Dynamo Riga meet Locomotive tonight. Just over two minutes into the game, Kasper Saulides drives Vladislav Gavrikov into the boards. Ouch! Former captain of junior team Russia goes into the boards head first, and Saulides gets a game misconduct for that. Gavrikov missed a few shifts, but still played over 18 minutes on this one. And soon, power play and Loco get on the board. Stefan Cronwell takes a shot through the screen and hits Denis Vesalov in front and squeaks him to the net. Vesalov has created with his fourth goal in the past four games and it's 1-0 Lokomotiv. Second period now, Lokomotiv's fourth line is out there and Alexander Palunin roofs it past Jakub Sidlachik to make it 
When in fact Jazz prospect Pavel Kraskovsky picks up an assist on the play. This entire line may very well end up going to play for Team Russia at the upcoming World Juniors next month. Locomotive can improve the lead to 3 nothing on this rush, given goal between Vasilov and Patrick Kantiola, and Sidlachik absolutely robs Kantiola. Fantastic stick save made by Jakub Sidlachik to keep Riga in it. Not gonna help them much though, Loco go on to secure the win halfway through the last period as Sergei Konkov has his gifts of the season. That's his third goal in the past four games, and that's a wrap. Alexei Morigan stops 18 shots for his eighth shutout of the season, and now he's just one shutout away from Tyne KHL all-time single season record in shutouts. Dynamo Riga are also left off the board for the first time this season on home ice, and Loco win this one 3-0. Yuha Matsula stopped 36 shots for more against Widarmi, but he couldn't stop the one that mattered the most. Nikita Zaitsev scored his fifth of the season with just three minutes left in regulation, and that was the game winner. Alexander Rodulov added an empty net to that, Ilya Rokin stopped 19 shots for his sixth shutout in 13 games this season, and Widarmi won 2-0. Notably, in his post-game interview, Alexander Rodulov said he's not going to discuss his contract situation until the season is over. And that's all we've got for you tonight. Check back with us tomorrow for we'll have four more games for you to enjoy. I sure hope you enjoyed this highlight pack. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you Friday.